Hey guys, what's up? It is Fatal HD here. I just want to bring you guys a tutorial on how to make a Masturator Factory. Um, Masturator Factory is really not that hard besides the electronic circuit and that's still not that hard at all. So, as you can see, it takes electronic circuit, cobblestone, flint, and a machine block. Uh, we'll start out with the machine block just because it's pretty easy, really easy actually besides the furnace part. Um, okay, so... If you don't have um, collectors or relays, you're on a server or, or band or whatever, um, you can just take RM or um, red matter or dark matter and put it in here for EMC to keep the things condensing. Um, okay, so you're obviously going to need a lot of condensers and filters and pneumatic tubes. Use uh, preferably redstone tubes, but use whatever you have. Um, okay, so first thing we're going to make is the, oh. oh my goodness, okay, is the machine block. So to make a machine block, it takes eight refined iron. Um, so we're going to fill this first condenser up with refined iron once we finish putting this along the back ah. and the top. So get one iron, there we go, that iron there, start condensing, good. Then you're going to want your retriever. So after you put your retriever in there, you're going to need to get your screwdriver. And so a lot of people forget this. If this is, if this big part is not facing in towards the condenser, it's not going to work right. It needs to be like that. So otherwise it won't suck the thread. Uh, iron out of the condenser and then it causes a lot of problems okay so we're gonna go with a red matter furnace and oh it's just RM oh RM yep take this and go like that and then redstone tubes go like this So now um, we're making it so it'll come through here, the filter will pull it out, put it into the top of the redstone furnace. If the tube is not on the top of the redstone furnace, it will not work. Remember that. And then you need to put MK3s on the side of the redstone furnace, or RM furnace, so that it will um, give it fuel. It basically uses light for fuel. So you don't need to actually fill it up with coal, which is really, really nice. All right. Okay, so after we're done with that, then you can have this tube go up like this, and then just make it look nice. You can get your grass right there, and then take your automatic crafting table like that. Boom. Okay, so before we do this, um, you're gonna need a timer and jacketed wire and alloy wire and then okay so it doesn't really matter uh, what type of jacketed wire it is as long as this part right here is red because you can't use the this blue stuff or this multicolored stuff that has to be the red okay so go like this and then this, and then you can go like. And so, if you don't place a um, red alloy wire there, it's not gonna work. As you can see, it's pumping that pretty fast. Go like this, and then it'll pump it from this into here, and then you'll see it pop up in here any second now. I think. Why isn't it working? There we go. See, now it works. Huh. Okay, so take that and put your redstone 
and then your automatic crafting table right there and right there there we go okay so now you can see it's putting it in here go like this make your outline of a machine block and then you take this one to look nice again ah. oh my goodness take your grass and go right there okay so after you do this your machine block is one of the main pieces so we'll have it pump out up here somewhere just to give us some room so another thing with automatic crafting tables if you're kind of new to making factories um they can a filter retriever can only pull stuff out of the crafting table on top of it so if you don't if you try doing it from the side it's not going to work and it'll cause a lot of problems Okay, so now we'll go like this, 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 boom. Okay, so now we have that working. And go like that. And you'll see it pump out of here in a minute. Oh, that's why it didn't work. Wow, I'm losing it. Like that. Aha. There we go. Okay. So after you do this, you're gonna have your obviously your machine box in here. So you go back and look at your mass rater, and you need electronic circuit, which is gonna be the hardest part. And we're gonna screw these two because we don't want them. And then get that there and that there, and then boom, boom, switch, switch, get rid of those. Throw out our mass rater so we don't need them. And then we're going to get a glass cover. This is going to make your factory a little bit more compact. Um, you don't need to do this. You can leave it more spread out. But if tubes are touching, it's really going to screw things up for you. Um, so, yes. I mean, just sometimes it's nice to play it safe. Because if you do have tubes touching, it's really going to screw up your factory majorly. And it's not going to make it either near as fast as you want it to make it. Or it's not going to make it at all. You're not even going to have the resources to make it. So, take these. And if you have any, literally, any machines, relays, mass raters, filters, anything besides uh, jacketed wire or al alloy wire, um, you don't need to cover up. But filters and all that other stuff, you do. Uh, furnaces, everything. Because it'll end up going into that instead of going into your automatic crafting table so okay so we can get rid of that and now what we need is our flint get some flint put this in here go boom and then it start pumping it out as soon as we go like this there we go you can see it start pumping it out so this uh, crafting table is going to be the final crafting table, so this is the one that will actually be making the mass raider. Okay, so once you're done with that, you need cobblestone. Uh, you can take your cobblestone, put it in here. Make sure it's fast because it's one EMC. And then you can put it, uh, put pneumatic tube down all the way up to here. Okay, so then you have to go back, put that down, and it'll pump out your cobblestone. And just for that, just to power the redstone tubes. And this is good. Okay, so we have closed everything down. So put that in there. And this is really annoying when it does that, but it does that sometimes. Okay, good. So we have the top half, our top part of our mass rate are done. So now all we need to do is make a circuit, electronic circuit. So when you make an electronic circuit, um, it's you kind of want to do them as fast as you can. So if you do have collectors or relays uh, to use and you're kind of using them conservatively and you want to use them on a factory but you don't have enough, um, this is circuits are definitely the part you want to use them on because they take up the most EMC as well. So get your condenser, 
And you need two at first. Start with two. And then those down. Okay, good. So after this, you're going to need to put your filters, break those. And you're going to need uh, sticky resin because you could, I wish rubber had an EMC and it would be very nice, but it doesn't. So you need to condense sticky resin and then you can um, smelt it into rubber, which works about the same. Uh, just takes a little bit longer because of the smelting part on servers because of lag. But anyways, so that boom ah okay. there okay so i mean if you even want to make it go really fast then it could just go like that but okay so break this take your filter switch it around so that big end is facing in and then take your redstone tube and get your automatic crafting table And we'll do it like this, I suppose. Um, jacketed wire, get some jacketed wire. It doesn't matter if you use two different types of jacketed wire on the same thing. Okay, so it's going to pump the sticky resin out once I switch these. See, that's what I mean. It's not going to pump anything out, so you really got to switch them. As you can see, it goes right down in. And then take this and go boom, boom, and then you'll have rubber in there. Okay, so after you did that, then you need to get your covers again. And then, so make sure you put it on all your MK or uh, relays. Now, you don't need to put it on this jacketed wire. That's actually going to power this whole thing. Um, if this was not on the top, I'll show you. So, take this see now we don't have anything in this condenser yet so that's why it's not powering it but now once we put our copper in there it'll start pulling it up see so you really don't need to attach it to the actual filter as long as you attach it to the wire then it's fine so we now have the stuff to make our copper wire so, we have copper, we, we made the copper wire factory, so now it's pretty easy, is to just take a, another automatic crafting table, put it right on top, and take more, two more condensers, just to make it easy, actually we'll go... Over, ah, over here, and then we'll put one right here, and one out here, because this one's going to actually need to smelt the iron. So put that right there, and there. Ah. There we go. And then... Boom, good. Okay, so this one's gonna smelt our um, iron because we need refined iron. And this one will do our redstone. Okay, so. Now, this one you're also gonna wanna do, um, try and do flowers power flowers you don't have to but I mean it's definitely gonna help you in the long run um if you have world anchors you're definitely gonna wanna want power flowers because it's gonna be on constantly so it's gonna be a lot harder to keep up with you know keep up with your factory your EMC if you uh need to get on I guess if you get on like every day then it'd be fine but if you don't just kinda leave it on and try and get rich off of it and come back on every few days, it's not going to work out so well. So get your RM furnace. And then take your boom. 
MK3s, you go like that. Glad it has fuel. And take this. And then switch it around. There we go. And like that. And you can just go basic power flower. You probably don't even need to do this much. This is redstone, but then we'll just go like that. And then, okay. So, get some redstone. Yeah, lock. The lock. Okay, so now you go like this. And all you have to do to emit power of these so that it pulls the stuff out is go like that. And that. But in order to get this one since it's separated by the filter and the um, iron furnace, you gotta go like that. And then. Oh, we didn't put anything in there, that's why. So let's get our iron. So, this is literally, we're really close to the end. So, take your filter, fluff it up, like this, that. Okay, so in order to power the top again, just take this, like that. There you go, it's pumping out your circuit. Now, just take your filter, like this, get any type of chest you want. So we'll go crystal just because it looks coolest. Like that. And then take your giant circuit, go right there, and. Oh, forgot one thing. You need your jacketed wire again. And just go like that. And there you go. That is how to make a Masterator Factory. Um, one more thing though, is on servers, it's actually not gonna be two seconds. It's probably gonna be around five. Most servers have tech and restrict, so you can reduce like, so it's probably gonna be five. Um, probably gonna actually be five in the 100s. Um, so it's not gonna be quite as fast, but it's still gonna be pretty fast. I mean, you'll probably have a couple stacks of these, if not like, Probably up to here within a couple hours. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe. See ya.